birds on. Three birds of different forms. With the birds sitting in trees. One thing that's very much represented in the cemetery is the change between belief is in the meaning of death and in burial practices. There's a shift in, in religious beliefs. The Puritans were, of course, Calvinists, and um, as Calvinists believed in predestination, that only the elect would be saved and would, would go to heaven. And uh, this uh, religious viewpoint caused a great deal of anxiety uh, in the Puritan culture, where people were obsessed with trying to figure out whether they were among the elect, and of course there was no way to know. Puritans use this sort of a flying skull motif, which is a reflection of the more Evil. grim viewpoint toward death. Uh, this changes later on as religion becomes more liberalized with a lower case L, and the view toward death becomes a little more um, even-minded, if you will, and people are less concerned about being uh, saved than they are with the idea of eternal rest or a repose from the, the rigors of life. And in that sense, it uh, takes on a more benign view of uh, people moving on to heavenly rest. And so it's a big change in perception. And this gets reflected both in the design of individual gravestones and in the d design of the entire burial ground itself. The scythe and the hourglass are obviously symbols of death, but then we have this really quite nicely carved um, face, but then with feathers behind. So the feathers suggest it's a kind of an angel. So if that's a death angel. That's a big change it, because it's a very sweet looking thing. It does look nasty and evil. Sort of an angel of death. Yeah.